Hello, this is a book called Holography and its Application. It was written by U.I. Ostrovsky, and it was published by Mir Publishers Moscow. This was a publishing company in Soviet Russia that would translate Russian books into other languages and then distribute them all over the world so that people could learn. Here it talks a little bit about the author, Yuri Ostrovsky, Doctor of Science in Physics and Mathematics, is a senior scientific worker at the AF Joff Physicotechnical Institute of the USSR, Academy of Sciences in Leningrad. He specializes in optics, spectroscopy, and holography. Since 1965, he has been occupied with holographic interferometry and the holographic diagnostics of plasma. He is the author of numerous articles in this field, in addition to the present book. Cool. Has also written Golographia, Holography, published in Leningrad in 1970, and together with Zadel and Ostrovskaya, yeah, the second edition was published in 75. Okay, all right, so let's open it up, see what we got. It's signed by this person, Nahal, I don't know what that says, December 1980, I'm just gonna, it must have been a gift. Maybe it was a gift, right? That's pretty cool. Or maybe it was their book, and they're just like, yep, this is my book. Translated from the Russian by G. Lieb. First published in 77, revised from the 73 Russian edition. So here are the contents. A hologram and its properties. The physical principles of holography. Properties of a hologram. Holographic experiments. Arrangements for forming holograms. Sources of light for forming holograms. Reconstruction of wavefront, hologram recording materials. The main applications of holography, three-dimensional images, holographic interferometry, spatial filtration and characteristic recognition, and other applications of holography. And then there's um, some indices. Yeah, a hologram and its properties. Here's Professor Dennis Gabor, the inventor of holography, 1971 Nobel Prize winner. Oh, wow, smells amazing. Let's take a look at see what it says here. The physical principles of holography. Holography is a way of recording and then reconstructing waves invented by Dennis Gabor in 1948. The waves may be of any kind, light, sound, x-ray, corpuscular waves, etc. The word holography originates from the Greek word holos, meaning the whole. By using this word, the inventor of holography wants to stress that it records complete information about a wave, both about its amplitude and its phase. In conventional photography, only the distribution of the amplitude, more exactly of its square, is recorded in a two-dimensional projection of an object onto the plane of the photograph. For this reason, when examining a photograph from various directions, we do not obtain new angles of approach, and we cannot see, for instance, what is happening behind objects in the foreground. A hologram, on the contrary, regenerates not a two-dimensional image of an object, but the field of the wave which it scatters. By changing our point of observation within the confines of this wave field, we see the object from different angles, sensing its three-dimensional and realistic nature. The physical foundation of holography is the science of waves, their interference and diffraction, the first steps in which date back to the 17th century, the time of C. Huygens. Already at the beginning of the 19th century, T. Young and O. Fresnel and J. Fraunhofer had sufficient knowledge to formulate the fundamental principles of holography. Cool. There's some, some of the people involved. Interference of light. We 
we shall first consider, let's, let's look at this, this looks cool. We shall first consider a very simple case, the field of interaction of light waves emerging from two point monochromatic sources, O sub one and O sub two, in an isotropic medium. Assume that these waves are polarized in one plane. The electrical vector is perpendicular to the plane of the drawing and have the same frequency V and circular frequency omega equal two pi V. Consequently, the light oscillations at an arbitrary point M will be given by the equations x sub one equals a sub one times the cosine of omega t plus v of one, and similarly for x sub two, where a sub one is the amplitude of the wave, okay, so that's our formulas, and it's amplitude of the wave reaching point M from o sub one, cool. So there is a lot of mathematics, um, you know, in, in this book, um, but it is a book on holography, which is pretty unique, pretty unique. Um, is this book available? I, I don't know. Um, it might be, if it is, it's probably not super inexpensive. These books tend to cost uh, a little bit of money. They're not super cheap. Look at this, other books for your library. Television. Yeah, it's a book on television. You must think, oh, it's a book on TV. It's a book on like how televisions work. <laughs> Written by leading Soviet authorities on television, the book explains the physical principles of TV, operation of transmitting and receiving equipment, and the properties and characteristics of TV channels. Like, it just explains TV. Yeah, pretty cool. Things you don't think about, right? That's a cool thing about, about, these, about these books. It's just things you don't think about. And I like that. I like that they're textbooks. You know, these are actual books. Mm. Oh, wow. 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 Oh, what an incredible smell. What an incredible, incredible smell. Look at all this stuff. Beam splitter, light conductors, object. Yeah. Pretty cool. Well, anyways, I will, I will try to find this book. Uh, and if I can find it, I will leave a link in the description in case you want to check it out. It's kind of a strange book. I just thought I would make this video. Um, if you want to subscribe, subscribe if you want to. Um, also, I have courses. They're on my website, mathsorcerer.com. Uh, They're actually on Udemy, but if you get them, please use the links from my website because it helps me. And also, I lowered the prices, so you should get a low price. So. Yeah, I don't have a course on holography, <laughs> but I have um, I have courses on Calc 1, 2, 3, differential equations, abstract algebra, advanced calculus, etc. But yeah, I just wanted to show you a book, which is rare uh, for my collection. Take care.